Good morning and welcome to Breakfast from BBC News. From me, John Sopel, live in Rothbury. The fugitive gunman, Raoul Moat, is dead. The six-hour standoff between police and Moat ended here when the gunman shot himself in the head at around 20 past one this morning. We can confirm that a shot or shots have been fired and it is believed the suspect has a gunshot wound. Moat died later in hospital in Newcastle, bringing to an end one of Britain's biggest ever manhunts. Hello, good morning. It's Saturday the 10th of July. I'm Louise Minchin in London with Nicholas Owen. Also on today's programme, the extreme hardship of families with disabled children. A new survey says things are getting worse. We've been training with Jensen Button and Lewis Hamilton ahead of the British Grand Prix, but not in a racing car. As the heat wave continues, there's a warning it could mean danger for pets. We have some tips on how to keep them cool. And Mighty Mike Bushell gets into the rhythm, clearing all of the hurdles in his path. Well, one of the UK's biggest ever manhunts has come to an end with the death of Raoul Moat. The 37-year-old shot himself probably just 100 yards from where I'm talking to you now uh, after a long standoff with police on a riverbank. He had been surrounded for several hours, uh, police trying to persuade him to surrender his weapon. But in the end, he turned the gun on himself, shot himself. Paramedics were called in. And so the end of a seven-day search for him had come to an end, an end that the police had sought to avert. But here in Rothbury, there is a sense of relief this morning that at least from now on, these people can go about their business safely. Let's get this report from our correspondent, Colette Hume. This was the moment it finally came to an end. 